I think that somebody who's done something wrong should be punished. Why? Yeah. Why not? Can you tell me? Why, <laughs> why not? <laughs> no, tell me why not. You said that you know that there is no hell. How do you know that? You don't understand that, no? no because you no, have no, no, I don't think you understand that. That's why I'm asking you. First of all, that uh, is metaphorical, that uh, burning and so on. You can't judge somebody that's going to live 11 jillion billion years on a lifespan of, what, 30 before they get up killed or something like that? Adolf Hitler, like uh, these uh, ISIS and so on. It does uh, say funny. what you say it doesn't say. Okay. And that's not even the issue. The issue is the Quran is wrong for a whole bunch of different reasons, but the bigger thing than that is understanding why there cannot be a hell, why that contradicts the notion of God. So we can just we can just toss out Islam. Islam is wrong because it says there's a hell. We, we, we it says a lot of things that are wrong, but let's let's just focus on the Quran saying that there's a hell, and we okay. know there's not a hell because there's not a God. But even if why we, you do, why if you we know? pretend for a moment that there is a God, there still isn't a hell. And Quran is still wrong. So you say that you know that there is no hell. How do you know that there is no not a hell? I'm sorry, what? You said that you know that there is no hell. How do you know that? Well, if there was a God, as I said, okay. First of all, hell couldn't exist unless there is your version of God. But if there actually was a God, then hell still wouldn't exist because the God wouldn't create it, nor would the God allow it. Why? Because People who have a bullshit story to sell, who need to acquire your tithing and need to assume control over your families and your belief systems and your politics, they want you to believe made up bullshit stories. And, and they need you to believe that so badly that if you don't buy the heaven, the, the impossible promise of the posthumous reward, if you don't buy into that, then they have to give you the threat of a fate worse than death in order to to you know to control the gullible through fear so that's why hell was invented it's not a concept that would actually exist if there really was a god because god would not mercilessly punish anybody for eternity nobody ever did anything so evil that it would be they would warrant an eternity of being burned alive and skinned alive and tortured by every other means. Nobody ever deserved that. No God would ever do that. No God would ever allow that. Mm -hmm. There's the only reason it exists is as a concept for people who want to evoke fear to extort money and tithing. All right. Okay. First of all, that uh, is metaphorical, that uh, burning and so on, because I believe that uh, on the other side, we are not bodies. We are souls and He's not going to, you know, it's like a nightmare for those uh, who okay. have been like Adolf Hitler, like uh, these uh, ISIS and so on. Such a people, I uh, believe that they sh uh, they deserve to be, uh, you know, judged, okay, and punished because they were not punished in this life, okay? So this is, uh, and if they just go on, uh, you know. What is the punished, purpose of punishment? The, the purpose of punishment is that they have, you know, been uh, hurting people they have been killing people so and god uh, they just uh, punishing they, them fix that does that make uh, the people not hurt okay uh, that one uh, is up to god to decide okay if it will help but for some people it helps okay for some people they get afraid for for the you know other side so they will not do bad deeds but some people and i, I this is i say this is um, my belief that they should be uh, somehow, you know, punished for the, what they were doing here on okay, this planet. But, but again, to because, get back to the same question not, I just asked, no, what is the okay. purpose of punishment? Okay, the purpose uh, of punishment, uh, f because they didn't uh, follow his commands and he's the creator, okay? He was telling them to do good deeds and they didn't, okay? Okay, so they, what's they the rejected. purpose? Sorry? So you, you say they should be punished. Why should they be punished? Why people yeah. should be yeah? Why should people should be punished yeah. for their wrongdoing? Okay. Okay, but so wh why? Don't, you don't understand that one, no? Because you. No, have no, done no, I something. don't think you understand that. That's why no. I'm asking you. Yes. Why should they be punished? Because they have done such a horrific, uh, you know, crimes uh, against humanity, right. and, and so, they should. Be, so why should they be punished? Why they should be punished? Because right. I said yes. Because they have done. You have done something wrong. You have to. Uh -huh. you know, Okay, so you've done something done. wrong, 
Not and just you, something wrong. You think that somebody who's done something wrong should be punished. Yeah. Why? Why should be punished? Right. Yeah. Why not? Can you tell me? Why, <laughs> why not? <laughs> no, tell me why not. No, Aaron, tell me why is, not. So there has to no, be, when you decide to punish yeah, someone. Because it is just. Because it is just. How is it just? In, in, in what way? So, so you, you want to punish somebody. If you want to fine them, if the, if the punishment is a fine, okay. we could then apply that fine okay. to, say, the, the, the next of kin or to the victims. You know, you, it could be like a, a lawsuit. You know, so there's a benefit to the person who's been hurt or wronged. What I'm trying to get at is when you're punishing someone, say, if you're, say you're going to punish them through a fine. Okay, good. Now, now you've got some restitution for the victim. There's some benefit there. There's other types of punishment that the result or the purpose of those other types of punishment could be for rehabilitation, which I think would be brilliant, yes. especially if you're going to have something that, that's going to live forever, forever and ever and ever. You can't judge somebody that's going to live 11 jillion billion years on a lifespan of, what, 30 before they get up killed or something like that? So all right. if you're going to be an intelligent being, much less a superior being, but if you're going to be intelligent at all, then there has to be a, a reason for the punishment. What is the goal of the punishment? Because if it is insane revenge forever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever and ever, then you're not talking about a just God. You're talking about an evil God. Okay. So if, if there's a benefit, if there's a goal, if there's some kind of restitution, for the punishment, then what is that? What? Why would you punish someone? What's the goal of that? What are you trying to achieve? Look, uh, Aaron, that's up to God. Okay, because I I said beginning. Okay, I said from the beginning. I don't follow God. Not, just let, let's say it's not oh, up to look, God. Let's put it okay. up to you for okay. a moment. You're right. God, or you're somebody, and you're going to decide that somebody needs to be punished. Okay. What is your reason for punishing it? Is it? Because you want to get justice for your, your victims, meaning that you need to benefit the victims in some way, okay. or Not you want victims. to rehabilitate the person who's done wrong so, so that they understand that they've done something wrong and can do better. Somebody next. has been killed. You cannot benefit by finding that person. Okay. That person's life has been so there, ended. So there's by no benefit else. to being tortured mercilessly. All there is is the evil of your imaginary God. All right. Okay. Uh, Aaron, my concern is not what's happening next life. Okay. My concern is what's happening on this planet in, uh, in this life. Okay. So my concern is that I said from the beginning that I follow God, not just because he exists. I'm not following him because he's going to punish people who are doing bad deeds. Okay. I'm following him because he has changed our life to a better one. Okay. In the past, I, we can go through that. No, it doesn't. And, okay. And then he's going to change our life to a perfect life in the future. So no, I, he no, doesn't. Okay. Islam All is right. wrong about that too. Okay. If, 